great recipes start with Odlums. Proud sponsors of Catherine Layden on Ireland AM. Now, rye bread is easy to make, stays fresh for days, and is packed with flavour. And it is a much healthier option than your usual white sliced loaf. Baking queen Catherine Layden <laughs> joins us now Here with her is. recipe <laughs> for rye bread. Our baking queen, indeed. Catherine, now, new year, new you, new no start. New healthy start. I healthy. can do it, I'm telling you. Yeah, we all now, could be doing with it. So, rye bread. Rye bread. Now, this has, it has gluten in it, but not as much as the wheat, you know, the wheat flour. So yeah, some people who are wheat intolerant, or wheat now, intolerant, they, they can't be completely allergic, can actually tolerate this. Rye bread, rye flour, exactly. Okay. So now I'm just going to put 500 grams into my mixing bowl. Now, there are a few stages to this, Kira. It is very simple to do, but there are just a few stages to it. And you have to do them so, in the right order, so yeah. listen now, up. Now, here I have a pint of warm water, so one third boiling, two thirds cold. Okay? okay, and it must be warm. It must be warm, yes, because you want to activate the yeast. Okay. One tablespoon full of treacle. Okay. Straight into it. And you just mix that through. So that's then going to give you some sweetness. It's going to give you some, a little bit of sweetness, but it's also going to help to activate the yeast. Oh, right. Because the sugar in the molasses. Very good. The, in the treacle, okay? Now, next we do, we put a hollow in the centre of the flour. Yep. And we add one sachet of the fast acting yeast. Okay. Now, I've tried to use yeast before, Catherine. It wasn't pretty. I tried to make pizza dough bases. Well, now we're using, you need a strong flour for a pizza dough base. Okay, yeah. oh, maybe that's where I went and wrong. People are a bit nervous of yeast. They are. And it's not something we do in Ireland very often no. because it's usually time consuming, but not in this case. Because of the less gluten in it, you don't have to let the bread rise, knock it back and prove. You just let it rise once, as ah, we'll show you now in a minute. Oh, very so good. Now, into that, so it works I'm quite well then with does, the rye. Yeah. And I'm going to put one third of the liquid. Okay? Yeah. Now, what you do then is you cover that and Over. you let it sit for 15 minutes. And okay, I've done that already. Some of my mistakes. See? And what that allows 15, then. You see that's starting to bubble there. That's the yeast prove, activating. As you say. Right? So now you add the remainder of the liquid then. Okay, so all you need really you is a bit of patience here. Just let it sit for 15 minutes. You have to do minutes, that. You have to do that. Then mix it through to quite a soft, sticky dough, Kira. And. If you find it a little on the dry side, you could add yep. a little bit more water. But to be honest, I've got the consistency just spot on there. Yeah, I just you don't need any well. more there. That's, no, that's what it's, it's, it's like. wet enough. It's quite it? wet, quite yeah. sticky. And that's all we do. We now transfer that to the two pound loaf tin that I've lined with my, I swear by these liners here, Kira. Yeah, I know. Well, they save in the washing They're up, great. don't they? They sure do. Now, and that's it. And in fact, End of baking. End of. Okay. No, not, not quite. Oh, not quite, here. okay. You've got to cover <laughs> it with a damp jade cloth or damp clean tea towel and leave it in a warm place for about half an hour until it rises. And I did that about half an hour ago. I put one in and we have it over here. So and where would you put it? Like are we talking about a fire here or just in a warm no, kitchen? the kitchen is warm, Kira. When you're arranging you fine. cooker yeah, or something. Yeah, you could. Okay. But don't put it anywhere too hot because you're going to kill the yeast. Okay? okay. So now we just... So really the two stages then are to, once you put it in, to leave it in the bowl for 15, 15 minutes. minutes. And, and then once you put it in here... Back of a spoon or back of a spatula dipped in water. Yeah. And leave it for it half an hour with a damp cloth. cloth. We have one here. Very good. Oh, look. Hello. Look how much that's come up. And that's what comes up to. See that? Voila. Then Perfect. you put that into bake at 200 centigrade, that's 400 Fahrenheit, gas mark 6, for about 40 minutes, 45 minutes. And voila. And it doesn't rise any more. No, Obviously it's the that's same. the same height now going in as it coming out. Turn it out. Hello, sound. Lovely. Bread is baked. And a nice, uh, kind of a nice crisp. There's a lovely crust to it. Crust, that's what I'm that looking for. That a lot of people like, so they yeah, do. Yeah, it reminds me of, of Granny's soda bread or something. I love that, where it's kind of soft in the centre and then, and then a nice hard crust hard on the crust. outside. Some mm, people delicious. love that, yep. So there we have our rye bread, and that can be used with butter or dipping oil or whatever, depending on whatever okay. diet you're on this time of the year, Kira. <laughs> Which one am I on today? Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't know, it changes, to be honest. It, it depends <laughs> what suits on the day. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to take a little bit of that. Take the crust there, Kira. And take ba basically that's what I'm doing. Straight into the crust, a little bit of butter. So there we have our rye bread. Mm. That's lovely. And the molasses give a lovely flavour to the bread as well. It's quite rich, isn't it? It's is quite rich, and you wouldn't no. think so. Now you don't get quite volume. Four. It's quite a dense bread, and you know it just comes like you know if you buy the commercial stuff, it's quite flat. That's because of the lack of. Yeast. You'd only need a wee thin slice of that, wouldn't you? Pardon? You'd only need a little thin slice little of that. A thin slice, yeah, that's what's good about it. You don't need too much of it either. How long will that keep for, um, and how do you now, store it? Once it goes cold, 
you store it in an airtight container, but don't store it until it has gone completely cold. And depending on the temperature in your kitchen, sometimes some people prefer to put it in the fridge and take it out about half an hour before you want to cut it. Does it freeze? It does freeze. Freeze is very freeze well, well. Freeze as well. Freeze very well, yeah. But if and you have it in the fridge, will you do... get three or four days out of it? Oh, you will. Oh, you will, no Easy, problem. Yeah. What a lot of people do, there's only one person in the house on the diet, when it's gone cold, cut it into slices, freeze the slices, and then take them out as you need it so you don't have to defrost the whole loaf. I love these organised people. That's going to be us in 2017. I've got oh, great plans, Catherine. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, sister. as always. <laughs> Coming up after the break, Paul Harkin is here and he's going to be giving us top tips on how to kick-start your spring garden. Stay with us.